Previously, I showed you how to make your own video looper using the Le Potato Bore. It is the Raspberry Pi alternative for under $40. Pretty cool. But honestly, a lot of normal people just don't care to make their own video looper. They want something right off the shelf, ready to go. I'm happy to say such alternative exists. And this is the media player that does it. In the bottom corner, you can see how it's running and it's looping every 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Can you see it? I don't know if you can notice it, but it's actually looping seamlessly, meaning there's absolutely no gaps whatsoever. Let's take a closer look at the units. On the top hand side, you got the enter button, back button, up and down button. These buttons are useful to navigate the menu in case you lost the remote. In the back, you got the PAL button, the IR receiver, which we don't use. I believe this is video output that we don't use. And here's the 5 volt PAL connector. On one other side is HDMI out. In the front of the unit is the IR receiver. So I honestly don't know what the back receiver is for. On the opposite side of the HDMI is the USB, which you can insert a USB flash drive in. Or you can just plug in a standard SD card. This is not micro SD card. On the bottom, there's nothing at all, just the model number and the uh, power specification. Let's boot this thing up for the very first time and you will get greeted with this 4K media player. The menu is pretty basic. All we care about is movie, so go ahead and hit enter. Currently, we have the USB flash drive connected, so go down and hit enter. There's just one file in there, and this is menu 10 slideshow.mp4. And there you go. As soon as you hit enter, the file starts to play immediately. Obviously, the biggest downside to having this video looper is that it does not automatically play the file if there's ever a power outage. So if a power outage ever occurs, then it will boot right back to the menu that you saw earlier, and then you would have to manually select the file all over again. Whereas if you make your own video looper, then the Linux operating system will automatically select the file on your USB drive and play it automatically. Alright, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful on what video looper to buy to make your own digital signage using a regular TV, monitor, or whatever. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.